Hey YouTubers, my name is Asanka Hardagoda. Today I am going to show you how you can wire off road like fog lights to your vehicle using a relay. This is a fuse holder and this is a fuse and you insert the fuse inside the fuse holder and the fuse should be the weakest link in your entire system now for this example I have to chosen the 10 amp fuse which is red color you get the big size and the small size as well to determine the size of the fuse you need the following you need a 12 volt power supply and the load that you are going to use and a multimeter you need to configure your multimeter as follows you need to connect your black color probe to the common and your red color probe where it has mentioned 10 amps and now what you do is you turn on your multimeter to amps and connect it to the positive wire from the battery like so and you get your load and in your load you connect the negative wire the black color wire straight away to the battery itself and you'll be ending up with a red color wire from the light and the negative wire from your multimeter when you connect these two together your bulb the light should get on like so right this bulb draws 4 amps but you need both lights to figure out the total amperage that your entire system is drawing which means 8 amps so I need to put a fuse higher than 8 amps what a relay does is it's going to control a high voltage circuit from a low voltage circuit which means you are going to connect one end one side of the relay to a switch and the other side of the relay to a high voltage load such as the fog lights and here you will see the wiring diagram plus some figures and it says 40 to 30 amps where my load draws somewhere around 8 amps and this relay is a 5 pin relay see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 you can get this relay either in 4 pin relays or 5 pin relays once you get the relay you need to connect the hole and in the diagram it says pin number 86 and 30 which are the yellow color wires in my relay to see if this relay is working or not all you have to do is get this yellow color wire from your battery positive and the negative and connect one to each wire as soon as you connect these two wires that is a noise that this relay is working to figure out what the, these three wires do you need your multimeter and in your multimeter previously we have connected to the 10 amps remove the red color probe from there and connect it to the probe that is mentioned as V and turn on your multimeter to the continuity mode where you will see a symbol like this and a speaker and get your two probes and if you contact these two probes together you will hear beeping noise which means this multimeter is now set to measure continuity connect power to your relay through these yellow color lines and get your multimeter and attach one probe to the blue color wire and see which why if you make contact makes a beeping noise right which are the blue color and red color wires which means if you give power to your relay these two will act as a switch to confirm that these two wires actually connect after power your relay disconnect the power supply from the relay and see whether these two lines still have the continuity in it see the 
multimeter does not beep which means now these two wires have been disconnected now we have figured out what our uh, wires do what in our relay let's wire them in our diagram we'll insulin tape the black color wire the yellow color wire we are going to switch it to a wire to a switch and these two wires to the load itself straight away get your load and connect one wire to your load like so here you can use a soldering iron and solder these two together and do insulin tape I usually insulin these two together since it's inside my vehicle and water does not get in right okay now we need to figure out how our switch is going to work now you need your multimeter like previous you switch it to the continuity side and see whether the multimeter is working like that ok now what you need to do is put your switch into on position and figure out which pins have been connected at this time ok in this switch the middle pin and the corner pin right you want to make sure that these two probes does not touch each other and now what you want to do is you on it again off now we are halfway through building our circuit now these are the two wires which is going to the switch and you get the other assembly that if we have assembled previously ok now what you need to do is you need to power the relay low voltage side plus the high voltage side so what you will do is you will be connecting these two wires together usually your switch will be inside your cabin and the light will be fixed on the buffer or outside your vehicle for demonstration purpose I will be connecting these two, wi two wires together and I will be connecting that to the negative side of the battery and then take the positive wire and connect it to the load like so and take the wire from your switch connect it to the other wire in your relay which is connected to the low voltage uh, circuit and get the other wire and straight away connect it to the positive wire from to your battery like so and now once you switch on your switch your light should come on as well this is a switch which will be inside your cabin and two wires will be going one wire will be going to the relay itself and the other wire is going to the battery positive and here if you, you can put the uh, fuse since this has been set up on the bench use the fuse you should fix the fuse as close to your battery as possible and this is the negative side of your battery and these two wires turn to your lights and to see how this works switch on this switch and your lights will be on and this is the relay if there is anything feel free to contact me hope you have enjoyed my video and please do subscribe for future videos and hit that like button